Welcome back Fallout 76 players, this is Jolly Scoundrel bringing you another video. Today I'll be going over stim packs, first aid, born survivor, the auto stim legendary effect, and the medic pump. The goal of this video is to provide some information as to how each of these work. For the purposes of this video, I have cut down a lot of the footage to show each of these effects in game. I spent almost 3 hours testing many combinations repeatedly, so I hope my findings prove useful. First off, stim packs, diluted stim packs, and super stim packs appear to stack in any combination, and each one is affected by the first aid and field surgeon perk. Next I want to look at a piece of legendary gear with the auto stim effect, my secret service chess piece in this instance. It's supposed to automatically use a stim pack while being hit while below 25% health once every minute. In practice, whenever your health is below 25%, whether being hit or not, you will automatically use a stim pack once every minute, and the order this prioritizes stims is regular, then super, then diluted. It does not work, however, when your max health is reduced from rads to below 25%, unless you unequip and re-equip the piece. Now let's take a look at the Medic Pump, which is a mod for a Power Armor chest piece. This works by automatically using a stim pack if you take a hit and drop below 50% health, or if you take a hit while below 50% health. You must take damage in order to trigger the effect, which is different than the legendary auto stim piece I discussed before, where you can sit below 25% health and it will automatically stim without taking another hit. Also, the medic pump appears to only work with regular stim packs, it will not consume supers or diluted stims. It will continuously heal you however while taking damage, and it has no refresh time. Moving on to born survivor, which is an agility perk. It works similarly to the auto stim legendary armor effect, where if below 40% health, it will automatically use a stim once every 20 seconds. This is with rank 3 of the perk. Rank 2 and 1 each lower the health requirement by 10%, so below 30% and 20% respectively. You do not need to take damage for this to proc, unless your radiation reduces your health lower than your rank of born survivor. For example, if you have 30% health due to 70% radiation, and rank 3 of born survivor, which procs when less than 40% health, then in this situation you will need to take damage for born survivor to actually work. Born Survivor also prioritizes stim packs, then super stims, then diluted stim packs. Based on my findings, here's what I recommend. The auto stim armor legendary effect isn't great, even with multiple pieces and or using super stims, but if you are going to use this as a low health last resort, I would use at least two pieces of gear. But overall, I don't think it's that useful at this low of health because a lot of enemies hit hard enough to kill you before your stims actually work, and it only works once per minute. So I basically never use auto stim legendary pieces. The born survivor perk is much more useful because it works like the auto stim piece, but with the max rank it can activate at 40% health rather than 25, and it works when being hit even if you have a lot of rads reducing your total health. This also makes it useful for bloodied builds who want to auto stim if they drop too low, and you only need rank 1 of the perk in that case. I recommend using rank 1 as a radiated bloodied build, or ranks 2 or 3 if you are not bloodied. I like the medic pump just as much as born survivor, because it has no reset time and it procs at 49% health, but the downside is it only works with regular stims. Using this in combination with Born Survivor 3 makes you an unkillable tank, and with the number of magic weapons and legacies out there, I don't see any reason to run around bloodied. I guess this is a little preview of my build video which I'll be releasing in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this or any of my other videos, please like and subscribe, because it really keeps me jolly. Thanks for watching. Jolly Scoundrel signing off.